Okay, uh, hello everyone, welcome back to another Bionicle review, so <coughs> If you can already tell, I kind of have a cold or something right now, my nose is a little stopped up, so it Might sound a bit weird in this video, so sorry about that But yeah, I've been putting this off for a long time About time I made this video, today we're going to be reviewing Jalu this guy is very important to me because this guy is the whole reason that I know Bionicle exists. So, let me tell you guys a little story. So back in the day, back on YouTube's early days in like 2007, there was a series on YouTube called The Chronicles of Jalo, which consisted of some guy who had Jalo, Huki, Axon, a few other figures, and would just throw them around and do stupid things with them. Kind of reminds you of a certain channel you might be watching right now. Hmm... So yeah, that was like legit my childhood, and I wanted this guy forever. I searched every store, could never find him, but then I found out he was in 2006, and that complicated things, so. You know, I started ordering Bionicles on eBay a few years back when I was like in third grade. I ordered the Baki, which I took apart all of them, unfortunately, and I have no idea where the pieces are. I would rebuild them. I ordered the Roxy from 2010, and what else did I get? Uh, I ordered Biddle from 2008. Uh... And three of the Toa Hordika. Um, so, yeah. I don't know why I didn't get better sets. Because, for the record, a lot of sets I ordered are pretty bad. I've had words on, like, the Bow Rock, which, of course, you all know I did eventually order. But, yes, yeah, so recently, you know, I was ordering all that stuff that was for quote unquote Christmas. Jaller was one of them. I added him to the order to, like, the last second because I had remembered him. So yeah, finally got this guy, it's good to have him, so, yeah. Also, it's probably going to be the last review of an old set, it's not a mock or like a Star Wars figure for a while, because, you know, I don't have any old, more old sets to review. But yeah, let's just go ahead and continue here with the typical format, so the instruction book of it, it's a bit different than what we've seen, um, it's like vertical now. You know, let's go ahead and flip through it, you know. Uh, starting to get more modern here. Showed off how you can, like, put the weapon and the Xamarin spheres into the box. Or, can, or canister, I mean. And, you know, it's got the nice pre rendered images. A picture of Boy Anui in the background. Oh, well, let's just flip through this. Blah, 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 parts count. Uh, shows you how to put them in the canister. And then an advertisement for the Paraka, which I'm going to order all of them. I only have stock at the moment, but I intend to order all of them either before Christmas, for Christmas, or with my Christmas money. So, yeah. And then we also have advertisement for the play sets, which the 2006 play sets were probably the best ones. 2005 sets kind of sucked, and then 2007 sets, there's not much you can do with underwater stuff, so, yeah. Anyways, we got Axon and Brutaka right there. And then these on Fenrak. One of my favorite Bionicle sets ever. And then an advertisement for the Bionicle website. An advertisement for Web of Shadows and the Game Boy Advance game. Uh, Maze of Shadows. A lot of stuff of shadows, huh? And then an advertisement for Bionicle Heroes for the PS2. Which is actually a good game, I have it. And then, an advertisement for Alatoro and Ico, which I also intend to get all these guys. I especially want Nuparo and Toro, but the other three I might get to. So yeah, there's the instruction book. I don't even know why I go over that, because quite frankly, no one probably cares. So yeah, here we have the canister, which also probably no one cares about, but I'm still going to go over it. So, you can see the top, that is space for Jalo's weapon, and two of the Xamarin's features. I this set only came with two of them. Of course, the actual set didn't, but the one I ordered off eBay did. Then you see some, there's some Art of Jalla right there. Uh, it says Try Me, and we'll see why it says Try Me in a minute. Oh uh, yeah, so the Mecha, Toa, Jalla, Bionicle, Bogu Law. On the back, it shows Jalla himself. You know, it shows all the features, which we'll go over. Um, and it shows a little map of Voyanui right there. And then each of the total, we got Niparu, Kongu, Holly, 
Huki, and Matoro. So, yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to get all those guys. If not, I'm at least going to get Matoro and Nuparu because they're my favorites along with Jowler. So, yeah. Also, let's go ahead and show off in the lid of the canister. We'll take it off here. There's two components of it, actually. So, yeah, like, there's this top part here which can hold Jowler's sword and some all those Xamarin figures and then just like you know actual lids so go ahead and take those out you know I just had those in there so I can show that off but yeah there's the basic stuff let's get on to what you all came here for the actual set himself so yeah here is Jeller in all his 12 year old glory right here so, yeah, the Yanaika brought a, and the Paraka for the record, brought a new building system to the table. It was a lot different than what we'd seen, like with the Tolomata, the Tolometru, etc. It wasn't bad, though. I think it's, like, really overhated, and it's not bad at all. It uses a bunch of, like, ball and socket joints, which is basically the early prototype version of CCBS. So, yeah, so I had to take a look at him from the feet to the head. So... His feet here, the Nike I had two feet versions, which whenever I get Matoro and Naparo and the others, we will show off the other ones. Um, so Jowler here has the spiky variation. So like these spiky toes and two in the back. They're very detailed pieces, which I don't know why they put so much detail into the feet, but they did. <coughs> um, and then Jowler here actually has a bunch of trans orange pieces. Which is a very rare color, in Bionicle at least. Nowadays, do I have one of those around me? Uh, no, I do not. But nowadays, they like that, you know, trans reddish piece. As like the trans orange thing, so yeah, this is a very rare color nowadays. And it's nice to have it. And then he's got these like, new pieces right here for the lower legs. Which are also very detailed. You can see like some pistons in them. And moving up, let's see what is now basically the basic unit of socket joint. Try to move his arm out of the way here. Let's see, that's also trans orange. It's got it's like this also another new piece on this armor piece. Practically all these guys, all of this guy is a new piece. Yeah. So the chest here, uh, that that is just a telemetry torso, which is a very useful piece for that matter. And then he has like this. New gold armor piece, which we did not see with the Paraka, so this is actually a new piece. Um, it's also got a new kind of torso. It's very similar to the Paraka torso. I wish I had wrapped back over here so I could show off the similarities and differences, but I didn't, so... Yeah. But you can see that's also a different box torso. Um, look at my review of him for reference. And his head here... My friends at school have already seen this. Like, it's very weird. It's not like, I'll spring red over here since he's the only one I have that has this head. It's not like your typical, like, telemetry head, like, you know. You just have this normal looking head with a mask under it. Like, here's like the head, you know, just like the standard telemetry head. Jaller and his toy Nika brothers are a bit different. So they just have this, like, rubber mask piece, which all the mask does look good. Under it, let's see here. There's like nothing. There's just this weird green piece. Yeah, this is very weird. I wish they would have just stuck with the telemetry head approach. But it doesn't necessarily look terrible. But I could have easily imagined something better. Um Yeah, I do not know what Jowler's mask is though, but I, I like it, it looks fine. Uh some of my friends thought it looks like Ultron, it kinda does. And yeah, so on to the arms now, we've got another one of those awesome trans-orange pieces. Look at Matora, also bragging about him, because he has trans-blue pieces. Um, and then, also I forgot to mention, Jowler here has a lot of recolors of stuff in, not recolors, just new pieces actually, in Metro Red, which is cool. Um, so yeah, we're setting that out there, so. Also this uh, shoulder armor piece is a new piece. Um, and then, he's got, like, just, you know, um, 
I can't speak today, I swear. Like, is this miserable I think that is? And then a trans orange handpiece, and then this interesting looking Xamarosphere launcher, which is different than the one we saw with the Paraka. It has like brackets. I'm not gonna shoot it because I'd lose it and knock it on my phone. Um, but yeah, he's got two green Xamarosphere in there. And then his other weapon here is this really cool looking sword, which if you press this black button, it actually lights up. Look at that, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's about all I have to say with Jaller. he's a pretty decent set, uh, basically the model of the Toa and Nika, basically just showing off what they are, so yeah, uh, that's Jaller, everyone.